ACI Payment Systems offer a robust suite of products and solutions in their Agile payment strategy. This short demonstration introduces you to ACI Issuer and its powerful product management and customer service functions. A brief introduction to ACI Issuer will be followed by live demonstration footage showing key product management and customer service tasks. After a summary of non-functional features, the final scene will review the benefits ACI Issuer brings to our customers' cards business. ACI Issuer is a proven software solution used by major institutions around the globe. It can issue and manage the full range of card products from debit, credit and prepaid through to corporate cards, loans and retail finance. It also supports the full consumer lifecycle from product definition and account opening to card, account and transaction management, plus full customer service capabilities. The depth of functionality allows products to be quickly and easily configured in response to changing market conditions. Our first demonstration will look at product management. Product management is a key function for any card issuer and the ability to create fresh, exciting, targeted and profitable products is essential. Product managers need flexible systems that support a full range of features that can differentiate their products and brand values and provide speed to market. In the demonstration, we will see how a bank uses ACI issuer to set up new credit card products. The bank spotted a gap in the market for an exciting new credit card, the Diamond Card, a girl's best friend. While this product may look unrealistic, it illustrates the breadth and depth of functionality available within ACI issuer to allow banks to differentiate and offer a unique product in the market. Card products are built up from a library of pre-configured components. These allow institutions to build a set of standard business rules which can be applied across all products for consistent management of terms and conditions. However, individual rules can then be defined to create specific features which enable banks to differentiate their products in the market. We will now see how the diamond card is created. This is the main screen after having logged on. The first thing to do is select the institution we wish to work in. Here we can see the list of all the institutions the user has security access to, and one is selected. We then enter into the account process control screen where the existing controls on the system are displayed, but in this case we wish to create a new one. This screen shows the main parameters for the control, with tabs containing further parameters. Each parameter is selected from a drop-down list. The first decision is which type of product the control is going to be. In this case, MasterCard is chosen. Next, the account type has to be selected, which is the newly defined Diamond account. Then the membership fee is chosen, which is the Diamond fee created specifically for this control. As with all the parameters on this screen, it is possible to view more details about the parameter. In this case, there is a £200 flat fee which is fully refunded after spending £10,000. For the purpose of this demonstration, the remaining parameters on this screen will be set to the default value. However, this shows how rapid and flexible the creation of an account process control is, meaning the card management system is no longer a barrier to getting new products to market. The demo will now jump to a completed screen. All of the initial account parameters are now complete. Next, the loyalty scheme needs to be set up. For the Diamond account, the predefined Diamond loyalty scheme is chosen from the list. Now, let's check the loyalty scheme to be sure it has the correct setting. Select the appropriate scheme. And as we can see on this screen, spending over £1,000 will give cash back of 5%, which is credited back to the account each month. Now the loyalty scheme is complete. The next feature to be set up for the Diamond account is the 12-month repayment plan, which is done in the Repayment Plan screen. There, we need to create a new repayment plan. This repayment plan will be for 12 months, of amounts over £1,000. First, enter a meaningful ID and description, and then the minimum qualifying amount, which is £1,000 in this example. Tick the regular instalment and retain credit balance boxes, then decide how the payments will be made, such as direct debit. Then determine how any reversals or cancellations will be paid back to the customer 
which in both cases is a retail credit adjustment. Now go to the Plan Length tab. In this case, there is only one phase of 12 months. However, there is a flexibility to allow the duration to be overridden or to have additional phases. The repayment plan is now complete and ready to use. The final task is to set up the plastic. This is done in the plastic application control screen. Listed are all the existing plastics in the system, but again, we wish to create a new one. First, select the product, which is MasterCard, and then the account type, which is a new diamond account. There are a number of parameters available, which are all easily created. However, for the purposes of this demonstration, they'll all be set to the default option. We select the diamond plastic salve from the list and plastic process control is now complete. As you have seen, it is quick and easy to set up products in ACI Issuer. Using standard parameters allows products to be set up consistently across the bank. But by defining specific rules, unique features can be added to differentiate products and add value for targeted segments of the portfolio. Above all, the power and flexibility in product configuration provides speed to market. The diamond card is now fully set up in the system and ready to be issued to the first customer. Our next demonstrations focus on customer service activities. Let's look at how ACI Issuer allows banks to provide excellent customer service. Replacing a lost or stolen card is a vital service for cardholders. The demonstration video will show how ACI Issuer supports the process through several key stages to ensure a successful conclusion for both the customer and the bank. We will now see how this call is managed. The agent answers a call from a stressed customer who thinks they've lost their card. The customer does not know their account number, so the agent searches by name or by part of their name. There is only one customer who matches, but identity must be established by checking date of birth, postcode, and finally mother's maiden name. Once identity has been established, the relevant account is chosen and the cardholder screen selected. Here, there is only one card on the account, which is the one that has been reported as lost. And that is all that needs to be done for the lost card to be blocked and a replacement created. Next, we can check the latest transactions to ensure that no fraudulent activity has taken place on the lost card. In this case, the customer has confirmed that all transactions are valid, including a web-based transaction made in the euro currency. The final part of the process is to make a note of the call and any actions taken. This is done by creating a new memo and entering the key data items of date, reason code, in this case, a lost plastic, then choosing the maintainability option, which means whether further changes can be made to the memo, and finally, enter the text. The memo creation process and the entire lost card call are now complete. In this second example, a customer has already set up a family card structure for his wife and children, but now wishes to change some specific spending limits. We will now see how this call is managed. Here we are in the Structure tab of the main account screen, having already verified the account holder's identity. There is a top-level account, which is in the father's name. Under this account, each family member has their own account, which is displayed in this tree structure. After having navigated to the mother's account, the Credit Check tab is selected. Then the specific rule to be updated is also selected. In this case, the account holder wishes the credit limit to be reduced, which is done by simply adding a new credit limit amount. The amount entered will be validated against the maximum credit limit. Next, the son's account is to be maintained. The objective here is to decrease his cash allowance. This is achieved by editing the velocity checking rules on the account by selecting and overriding the relevant rule. Note, as this is velocity checking, the number of transactions are checked in addition to the total amount for the period. The override is now in place and the call is complete. As you have seen, customer service is a powerful feature of ACI Issuer. 
In handling the lost card, immediate access to real-time transaction data allowed the card to be stopped and the account status to be reviewed while the cardholder was still on the line. In the family card example, we saw that the graphical interface made a complex task easy for the operator and how the bank can offer such valuable services to their cardholders. Above all, customer service is both efficient and effective, increasing customer satisfaction and reducing call times. In addition to the highly visual functional features of ACI Issuer, we should also look at some key non-functional aspects. As you have already seen in the demonstration, ACI Issuer is fully multi-institution, multi-product and multi-currency, allowing banks to consolidate multiple systems onto a single platform. It is also fully multi-country and multi-language, allowing it to be deployed quickly and easily worldwide and as a global solution across multinational institutions. The following video will highlight the multi-language capability. Here is a standard English language version of the customer search screen we saw earlier. And the same screen showed here in Spanish. All text for field labels, status codes and messages are defined in a library file and can easily be translated into any language. In this example, Spanish. And now, a quick final summary. This demonstration has shown three examples of ACI issuer functionality in use at major financial institutions around the globe. All of our current back office customers are fully referenceable and are proud to talk about how they have grown their card business using ACI back office. ACI Issuer is part of the ACI Retail Payments solution. When combined with Base24 and the other back office products, ACI Issuer provides a fully functional, scalable and feature-rich solution for card issuing. We trust you enjoyed this demonstration. We will be very happy to provide you with more information and show you how ACI Issuer can bring real benefits to your cards business.